Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Squish Show live after hours. It is 7.19 Eastern Time and 19 seconds exactly. Ooh, make a wish. Okay. All right, so it's T2. T2. Here's some love from the Stock Squish. I'm giving you one for tomorrow. T2. Gap down. I like the gap. It's good. It's a short for tomorrow on May 14th. So right now, this is a live, live gap. It's happening in the real time. It's at 1978. It closed today at 2062 and 900. So you see this here, OK? This is what this is doing, actually 9,000. So this is what this is doing right here in this moment from the close at 4 o'clock Eastern time, but then the stock is gapping. OK, this is a gap. So let's just take it back here. There, that's where the stock closed, right where my jiggy is. And then it's here. This is good. So I didn't rate this. I usually wait until the morning to rate stuff. That's just what I like to do. My mind is fresh and clear. And I can look at everything very, very good in the morning. In fact, I was talking about this today. I said, you know what, in the morning, I'm a morning person. I'm up, I'm fresh, I'm alert, I'm rested, I'm ready to go, I've had my breakfast. I have, you know, all the time in the world to think. And by the end of the day, people are usually tired. Their brains are tired. Their eyes are tired. I can see things clear in the morning. My instinct is better in the morning. My intuition is better in the morning. I, I'm so grateful that I actually trade in the real lifetime zone of the stock market, which is an Eastern time zone, because if I traded too early in the morning or too late at night, I, I would be in a totally different body clock. And if you are in a different time zone, get your body clock in a space where you are prime and prepped and ready to go at the time that the market is actually opening between 9.30 and the open. Anyways, T2 is a good gap for tomorrow. So here it is. Here you go. Boom. I did not rate this yet. I know that it's going to rate good per my 26-point rating system. And the 26-point rating system means not that you have to get 26 points. Oh, there you go. There you see it here. This is how it closed today. This is how it looked. It means that it gets 20 points or more for the 26-point rating system. That's what it means. You're not looking for a perfect score, although there are some gaps that get very perfect scores are close to perfect, but you're looking for a good score, a 20 points or more score. 20 points is a lot of things for a stock to be getting. And I can see right now that this is going to get it without even rating it, although I don't know exactly the point. But this is a good gap. Let's look at the whole thing. It's a weird chart. Stock was down, down, down. It was a long time ago. Over 10 years, stock rally. Rally was making new highs. It's all back 2004, 2005. Stock came in, came in hard, turned, turned big time. Tried to make a correction here, broke again, and then finally uh, followed through higher here for a very short period of time. This is 2008. And then really, this fell off a planet. Here, this gap that happened back here, it was... September 16, 2008, broke this chart, fell, fell off a of planet, stayed in downtrend 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, and into 2013. Now, I want to point this out. This is unusual. But the stock actually turned here and did a full-on correction. I really have to look to see where this was. Seventeen fifty eight. I'm just looking at that. That was it. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at finding these things. So in July of last year, the stock corrected itself and did a corrective gap back up into an uptrend. Okay, so there, and there it is. Now this is into this year, 2014, but the stock is gapping down now tonight, and it's real. It, it's real. I mean, and this stock can actually have big moves if it wants to on a day. This bar here, it's a nice bar. It's a little more than a dollar. And this is going to have a good entry and a good stop. It's not going to be too spready. And uh, this is very, uh, a very nice gap to play intraday. Where it happens from here, I mean, we'll have to watch to see it because this is a really interesting chart. It just did the correction. It not just did it. I mean, it did it last year. But, you know, for this to be gapping down right now is actually not exactly what you want to see, particularly because it just did the correction last July. But it's real. This is gapping down. It's a good stock to trade lower tomorrow as a short. So there you go. 
Some love from the stock switch tonight. I'll work on the rating tomorrow morning in the live trading room. I'll work on the resistance. I'll work on the targets. I'll figure out all the exact numbers, how to take this and see what it does. And you never know because this actually could be gapping a completely different number tomorrow morning, and it probably will. Uh, whether it will be better or worse, you never know. I mean, sometimes you get up in the morning, you see a nighttime gap, and it looks worse in the morning, and sometimes it looks better in the morning. And that can change the things. And that's why, actually, I typically wait to do the targets and the resistance into the morning. So there you go. Here's some love for the Stock Swiss Show fans out there. I'm giving it to you tomorrow. G2 is a good golden gut, and it's a short. Short it. This is Melissa with StockSwish.com. Have a wonderful, fantastic evening, everyone. I uh, added a class for this month, actually this weekend, May 17th and 18th. If you really want to learn how to trade and you really want to make money in the market, you, you've got to take the class to learn how. You can email me if you want to sign up. I still have spots available. It's Melissa at thestockswish.com. And I'll say one last thing. I'm going to talk about this in the webinar. That's tomorrow night, actually, at 4.30 Eastern time. Uh, the webinar is at Online Trader Central. You can go there and sign up. I'm going to talk more about gaps. But I'll say one last thing here tonight. I do not believe, and I'm being completely honest here, that there's any way to consistently make money day trading other than trading gaps. There's no other strategy out there that works irregardless of market direction. And you don't have to read the market right to get the gap right. You can trade the gap on its own. You get them every single day you get gaps to look at. Now, whether or not they rate 20 points or more, you go through the process of the system to look at it. But you get enough on any monthly basis in earnings season or non earnings season to make a living out of gaps. I think the only way to be profitable to consistently make money trading in the market as one individual, as a day trader, I'm talking about as a day trader, is to trade gaps. And I've looked at every strategy out there. I think this is the only strategy that has the level of profitability and consistency to actually make real money uh, over the course of time. And I've proven that now because I'm doing this for six years. And I'm only doing it in one direction, but I'm only doing one strategy. And I've looked at a lot of other ones. And they come and go. And they're 50-50. And they don't have the profitability in them. Gaps are reliable for lots of reasons. It's mostly because of the institutional selling or buying that creates these gaps that makes them work. Okay, and I found a method to pinpoint to pinpoint them down to get them to be very very picky to say I'm going to do this one on the day because that's really all you need one good gap that's all you need you only need to do one good gap one good trade that's it that's all you need to do and you've got to find a way to find the good ones because there's so many things every morning that gap a million a billion and you got to pinpoint it down. But I just thought I'd say that because I was having a conversation with someone today that was talking about a million strategies. And, and I'm saying this now, I'm putting it out there. My belief system is that there is no way to actually make a living as a day trader in the stock market as an individual trader unless you're actually doing gaps. And many people don't do gaps well. They don't understand them. They just don't get it. They're doing the wrong things. They're doing the opposite of me. They just don't get it. I can tell you right now, people are going to try to buy this guy. I can, I can just, I, can, I see everything this is doing. I know that people are going to make an attempt to buy this gap. It is not a buy. It is a short, a short, a short. So you can get up tomorrow morning and look at T2. And if you'd like more information on training gaps, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. It's a post-market review of T2. And so I'm giving it to the people I love. Thanks, everybody, for following me. And have a wonderful, fantastic evening.